Eric, those who have gotten the vaccine obviously thrilled to see uh, these guidelines. Meanwhile, doctors say they're also happy that these are small baby steps and not giant leaps. Hi, how are you doing? Feel good. Because she's an employee of the University of California, Megan Morris received her first shot of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine today. No side effects so far, so that's exciting. It happens to be on the same day the CDC released its highly anticipated guidance for people who have become fully vaccinated against the virus. Those guidelines say vaccinated people can visit with others who have gotten the vaccine without mask and without social distancing and can also visit with small groups of unvaccinated people in some circumstances. Especially thinking in terms like my grandparents who they've already been vaccinated but we're still trying to be as cautious as possible so now that I'm vaccinated and within the next few weeks, I'll get my second shot. We'll be able to come in closer contact with them. I think what this shows is that the CDC is recognizing that the vaccines works. But Dr. Dean Blumberg, chief of pediatric infectious diseases at UC Davis Health, says important safety precautions are still needed. And so far, the CDC says if you're vaccinated, you should only visit with a single household that has unvaccinated people in it. They're just recommending, again, baby steps just to do this with a single family. You wouldn't want to have two separate households get together with the grandparents. That increases the risk. And we may still be a ways off from a complete return to normal. Dr. Blumberg believes mask mandates likely will still be in effect at businesses and stores for some time. From a practical point of view, It'd be very difficult for store employees, for example, to know who's vaccinated and who's not and take people's word for it. I mean, that really creates an untenable situation. And even with the vaccine, Moore says she's still not ready to return to all pre-pandemic activities. I don't know about movies where you're sitting inside for a long time. Um, I would still probably be eating outdoors as much as possible. Still want to follow all guidelines, making sure we're being safe. But there's no and those CDC guidelines also state that if you have been vaccinated and you're exposed to someone with the virus, you can skip the quarantine and you can skip the testing. Reporting live in Sacramento tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News.